really thrilled to get a win on Friday night. A um, little bit ugly up and down, uh, but give Holy Cross a ton of credit. Uh, Mo does a great job for them and, you know, just hard nose. They move, cut well. I thought we were back on our heels a little bit uh, at different moments in the game, but um, I thought we had great contributions by people off the bench. Obviously, Kenzie Hare had a great game, um, but even, you know, somebody like Kennedy Miles came in, had some great possessions for us. Um, Nia turned up her defense, so there was a lot of positives um, with the totality of the game, I guess. <clears throat> Just talk about Kenzie. I know she just sparked off the bench. The three-point shooting uh, improved as well tonight, but what did you just like from her confidence standpoint uh, that led to her 18 points? Kenzie's a really confident player. Um, she can shoot the ball obviously very well, but she's she's just got a knack to put the ball in the hoop. And, you know, part of being a freshman is just there's going to be up and down moments and inconsistencies and um, I think she's done a great job up to this point of just kind of battling through that and finding her way and um, just was an incredible spark for us. Um, just made some big baskets when we needed them. Kind of like Monday, Liza started off the first half with a couple buckets, started off the second half with a couple buckets. What did you like from her opening up? Yeah, she's just efficient right now. I think she's, you know, we can move her around just a lot of different spots on the floor. Um, always has a lot of confidence. Um, so I just, I just like her mentality, what she's doing. I think she's taking great shots. Um, and I think you know, even there's so much room for her to improve, which is a great thing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to even finding you know different ways for her to be successful for her team. When I'm speaking to tonight, we had we talked about the depth a little bit, four players in double figures, mm -hmm. but it's also just like on the defensive end. How do you feel like you can count on anyone to go to the bench when it was maybe not your best first half, but you can mm -hmm. count on players off the bench in your second half? Yeah, I thought we we uh, we took advantage of our, our depth, and that's something we've been talking about as a group this week of our just strength and numbers, and you know overall just first mentality. I'm I'm not totally thrilled with our defense. Um, I thought it was a little bit inconsistent, um, and again give Holy Cross credit for the way they change sides of the floor and move the ball, and um, you know I thought we made some some big mistakes, but again we started you know also at the same time um, towards that you know third quarter, you know scoring 46 points in the second half. I thought we you know, got some stops and that kind of fueled our offense. How big is that depth going to be on Sunday against EWA? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know, purposely done to do a Friday, Sunday. We, we see it in the Big East um, and even two opponents that well coached, you know, they're hard nosed teams. Um, they cut, they move. As soon as you make a mistake, um, they're going to score. So we're looking forward, um, obviously, to get to get the win tonight, get a little rest, and then lock, lock into Milwaukee. Janelle Allen had a pretty big game for Holy Cross. You guys through a bunch of different matches yeah. at her. What was it like facing her? Yeah, J Janelle's just a, a local kid, uh, not too far from here in Chicago area. And so we, we watched her um, on the AAU um, circuit and just a, just a great young woman and um, having a nice little career for herself at Holy Cross. And um, she was really good in the first half, just had a, a knack to put the ball in the, in the basket, got great position. Um, I thought we did a little bit better job in the first half of just putting a few more bodies around her and kind of wearing her out. but. That was a little bit of our depth where you bring in Juliana, you had Sharia Smith, you had Kennedy Miles, um, even Makaya Williams to back up Chloe and Liza. So that's that's a good thing if we can continue to put more bodies around a player like that. Is that something you guys are going to go more to that three forward with kind of Makaya, Chloe, or Liza and Kennedy? Is that like a look that you're liking so far early this season? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so in the second half, your ball security improved a lot. I think you only had a couple turnovers the whole half. What kind of changed in the first half to the second half? Yeah, I think Holy Cross, their style, they're not going to get out in the passing lanes, and um, but they're going to be very fundamentally sound with their positioning. So as soon as we got in the pain and were loose with it, we turned it over. When we were tough with it and made our reads, um, you know, we made some great decisions. So I thought we settled in, like you said, way better in the second half and, and changed sides of the floor a little bit more. Um, you know, just a little bit difficult to, to get in rhythm in that first half with our offense, but I thought made a couple of nice adjustments um, with our reads and, and just kind of downhill to, to find our shooters and execute that. Rose got the start tonight. She seemed like she was everywhere in the first half defensively, mm -hmm. kind of getting in the way, hit a big three as well. What did you see from her tonight? Rose has been playing some great basketball. She, um, you know, just watching her as a junior, her maturity is, is um, just at a really high level. She understands what we want to do. Um, she does a great job on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and she can make open shots, which is a great thing, right? She, she obviously is a facilitator, but as soon as you leave her open, um, she's very capable of, of knocking down shots to help our team. Four players in double figures tonight. Um, just what's to say about the spread uh, of the scoring? I mean, there wasn't just one player who just had the hot hand. You were able to get a couple players 
and got this game open uh, in that second half. Yeah, I just I'm just trying to get our messaging out of you know when your numbers call, go in and bring energy and, and production. And there's so many ways you can produce. Um, you know, we're starting to get a feel of like different lineups we can use based on what the opponent's doing, which is so so critical. If you can continue to switch your lineups and um, have adjustments that way, it's it's a great strength of ours. So. We have some young players that are trying to get some experience. There'll be some up and down moments. We've got some players in new roles. Um, again, there'll be some up and down moment, uh, moments, but it's it's great to have options, and it's great to have um, kids who are ready to do those little things to help us be successful. And if we can keep that mentality, um, I know we can fix some of those things that didn't go great today. Anything else? Good. All right. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.